attempt to close the conference. Can we see the screen correctly? Yes. Uh, so first of all, I want to thank you all of you uh, for staying until the last day. I know it's been uh, three long days and a lot of uh, dancing last night. So thank you for being here today. Uh, I want to thank again the uh, main organizers of the conference, the University of Zagreb, the Institute Superior Tecnico uh, from Lisbon in Portugal, Pontificia Nuncia Católica de Valparaíso in Chile, and also the executive organizer, the SDEV Center. Uh, also thank again the basic sponsors. We have the company Sitpack and the municipality of Vinal Mar, but I also forgot to mention the municipality of Valparaíso, who actually provided a very, tour, a very nice tour yesterday through the you know, Valparaíso Hills. So also thank you very much to the uh, municipality of Valparaíso. Next, uh, this is the International Scientific Committee of the SDEV Center. You can actually see uh, many familiar faces. We had uh, Paul yesterday giving a, a very interesting talk on uh, district heating, uh, Professor Ingo just uh, now. Uh, and there are, you know, other very important people in this scientific committee. I just, just to mention a few, uh, Professor Henry Lund, the editor of the Energy Journal, and also we have Professor uh, Kusovic, uh, who's somewhere here probably. Oh, right there, yeah. <laughs> so uh, this is basically the group of people running the Zeve Center and uh, the conference that, you know, we can all enjoy, uh, not only in, Valpar in Vinal Mar this time, but uh, all over the world. Also, I want to give a special uh, thank you to the local organizing committee. So I want to actually invite all the PUCV students to come. I don't know if they are around. PUCV students, where are they? Can you stand up? Come on, guys. And where is Yolanda and Isidora? All right, we're missing two of them. Uh, but I want to give them a round of applause. They've been running the whole conference. We have Francisco, Avi, and Jonathan here. So all PUCV students. Avi is a postdoc, but you know, still a, a good friend. Uh, and we also have, you know, professors uh, from the University of Zagreb, professor from the University of Chile, uh, professor from uh, PUCV. Uh, so thank you to the local organizing committee. Uh, next, uh, there are too many faces here, so we cannot uh, actually see them all. But this is the International Scientific Advisory Board. They are, they are basically the ones that are reviewing your papers, uh, your abstracts when you submitted those, and uh, those that actually approve uh, that you can, you know, you are able to actually present uh, your research at the conference. Also, thank you very much uh, to the Scientific Advisory Board. And uh, about the conference, uh, I think it was a very successful conference. We had uh, 93 on site and 116 online participants from 27 different countries, from five different continents. Uh, 93 papers were presented on site and 16, uh, on 16 uh, regular sessions over the uh, last three days. We have three very good and interesting plenaries, uh, uh, lectures, uh, and also a very good panel on the potential of Latin America as a hydrogen producer. Uh, we had 117 papers presented, and only one uh, presentation was not uh, carried out, so I think it's actually a very good uh, number. Next, uh, this uh, probably is one of the most important slides, also, as I mentioned in the opening. This is the set of journals, uh, partner journals of the SEVES conferences. These are the journals where you can actually uh, publish your research uh, as a special issues, uh, which are going to be basically described the whole process, uh, how this is going to be done, is going to be described by uh, Professor Marco Ban. So, Marco. Thank you, Felipe. Uh, so, before I go on to the, for some, like, the most important part of the uh, closing ceremony, uh, me as a part of the Zdeva Center, I want to thank you, Felipe. I want to thank <coughs> PUCV. Francisco and all the guys for really excellent organization uh, on site and I think you made a, a good example for future Latin American and other other conferences and uh, to, to continue so uh, first of all uh, one of the journals on the previous slides was was our journal which we started uh, more than 10 years ago uh, currently, we have, we, last year we received the uh, impact factor for the first time, which is uh, 
quite quite good one. It's 2.1, and uh, which makes it also interesting for you uh, in the in the following stages, uh, which are like this. So. Since this is the first conference this year, and we still have several conferences to go, uh, the invitations to authors will be sent not now, but later this year when we finish other conferences, and uh, you will need to be patient. Uh, you always have an option to submit the paper to a journal of your choice not linked to the conference. Uh, once you do it, you can talk to us so we don't invite you, uh, or you can wait for the invitation from the conference and decline the invitation. It's up to you. So uh, all authors are uh, basically owners of uh, the rights on the papers submitted to the conference. You can do with your papers whatever you want. Uh, the procedure will be at one point, you will be invited to log into the system and to rank the journals which will be available. Last year, we had, I think, over 20 journals to select from. The thing is that you need to be careful when ranking journals. So um, there will be some Q1 journals with high impact factors, which will most probably be oversubscribed by other authors. And uh, this means that some will have to drop. So please uh, check the scope of each journal and find the journal that you f think that the paper would uh, best fit in. Um, also, uh, you will get an uh, invitation from the journal with two links to accept or decline. We ask you to accept or decline quickly, so the process, the whole entire process, can be uh, can be done as fast as possible. Also, the invitation will. Uh, uh, we'll have instructions on how to submit. Uh, please also read the instructions. Uh, it will pretty much uh, help you and help the editors to process the papers uh, fast. Uh, you can rewrite the paper for the journal. It doesn't have to be the one which is, um, which is submitted to the conference. Introduction is something that most editors in pre-screening look uh, to see the novelty of the paper. Uh, you can upgrade it significantly if you want, just to make it, uh, make it more appealing for the journal to accept it and to publish it. Uh, in some journals, pre-screenings are quite harsh, so make sure to at least uh, follow the instructions that you receive in the invitation email. Uh, and also, most, uh, in most of the cases, uh, extensions uh, will will most probably not be given because it's a tight schedule and so your submission uh, will affect others so we want to have most papers processed in the shortest amount of time uh, and for conference proceedings we will publish the final proceedings uh, most probably end of next week or within 10 days uh, if you want to update the papers, uh, paper for, for proceedings, you can send it to us. Proceedings will not be made publicly available. For the reason is that we want to enable easier publication. So uh, papers in proceedings will not be accessible to uh, similarity checking software, so you won't have any issues with this. So we are all, our suggestion is also not to put it on your institution uh, repositories because then the, uh, it will be picked up by Authenticate and, uh, and other, other uh, similarity software which will red flag the paper in pre-screening. So you can do it but wait after, the, after you get the invitation and submit it to the journal. Also, uh, as I said, the rights to the papers are with authors. So you are not allowed to publish any part of proceedings or book of abstracts which does not belong to you. You can, uh, you can get the book of abstracts. If you, if you want to publish your abstract from book, book of abstracts, there's a PDF on the proceedings. You can take the PDF. You can delete all other abstracts and 
publish and, and leave only your own, but please do not publish book of abstracts with all other papers or abstracts. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it uh, from our side. And I will leave uh, Felipe. Also, if you have any questions, send us an email. We'll sort it out. And Felipe, you have the last slide to close. Thank you. Two slides, I think. OK, uh, what's next? This year, we have two uh, more conferences, SDVS conferences. The next one will be in Australia, Gulf Coast, uh, I think, if I'm correct, uh, during April, if I'm not mistaken. And then uh, in September, we will meet in Rome uh, for the 19 SDVS conference. Um, and then we also have here uh, the next conference, which will be in 2025, the 20th SDVS conference uh, in Dubrovnik. So uh, every other year, we meet in Dubrovnik uh, in Croatia. And then once we finish with that conference, we try to go to a different European country. Uh, last time, for instance, we met in, in Paphos in Cyprus. Uh, and then we went to Dubrovnik. Now we go to Rome, and we will uh, we'll be uh, back in Dubrovnik uh, for 2025. Uh, and the last uh, slide, the most important slide, is the group picture. So I hope you, uh, you can find yourself here. Uh, well, Sylvain is not here, but... Uh, you all have access to this uh, on the website. So it was a, a pleasure to have you here. I hope you enjoyed the conference. I hope you met a lot of people that you met uh, or you had access to very interesting research talks. And any questions you have, please uh, let us know. And we hope to see you in future conferences. Thank you so much.